Welcome, I am Dieter, Dieter Ventura. Welcome for another edition of our video productions, the video productions by Artelino.com, my little company located in Bavaria in southern Germany. And we sell uh, Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And in these videos, okay, it's always about Japanese prints. We present artists, we present certain subjects. And today I want to introduce uh, a modern artist, um, an American, but uh, working in a kind of Japanese way, Japanese subjects, also partly Japanese um, old techniques, which is the woodblock print. Her name is Sara Brea. And before I now start uh, okay, with her biography, I thought I first show you uh, a few images so that you get an impression of the wide spectrum of her techniques and her styles. Um, let's take a look at the first one. Well, this is rather typical. You see Japanese, Japanese, two girls, ladies in, in kimono and uh, in a very specific technique, uh, it's called um, it's handmade port paper and a technique difficult to describe. Yeah, uh, but look at the result, wonderful. Um, next one, quite different. This is now an aqua tint. Shows a, a little lane in in Kyoto uh, in winter. So. The next one, uh, I, I would assume that this is somewhere in the US. It's called Night Shift, yeah? Uh, an unusual view, probably down from a window uh, late at night or yeah, something like, like that. There's hardly anybody um, out anymore here, a lonely person on the way to her, her night shift. Um, uh, a lonely car and unusual composition, unusual colors, and it's actually, you will hardly believe it, it's a woodblock print, yeah? Uh, next one, okay, an aqua tint. This one also a woodblock print, also quite unusual in, in design. You'll see a, a paddle, um, it's, it has a funny name, Bebop Paddle Hop. And a last one. Okay, well, this is a, a famous view. Um, I remember there are other Japanese prints showing so roughly this famous um, Yasaka pagoda in Kyoto. So from a from a similar view, it's also famous on on photographs of of um, tourists. Okay, um, this just to give you an impression of the wide spectrum of the artworks by Sarah Breyer. And I want to continue with a quotation, a quotation by Michael Wern. Michael Wern is um, an art collector and an art dealer who somehow specialized on American artists um, who um, learned the, the trade in, in Japan or who now live in Japan, who have this charming um, touch of the Japanese art. And Michael Wern, uh, he wrote about Sarah Breyer the following. Beginning of quotation, Sarah Breyer's work has charmed me ever since I ran across her prints in a Ronin gallery catalog in 1987. Her work has an indescribable emotional appeal. The subject matter of her early prints is Japanese in nature. Yeah, yeah. Yet another viewer can easily relate the imagery to events and feelings in his or her own life. End of quotation by Michael Wern. Well, better said than I could ever do it in my Bavarian style um, English. I'm not a national English speaker, you can hear it, and it's not also quite easy for me to express um, emotions or difficult uh, things to, to explain. Yeah, let's talk now a little bit about the biography of Sarah Breyer. 
She was born in 1957 in Rochester, um, the state of New York, and she studied printmaking at Middlesex Polytechnic in London in 1978. And she made her BA, Bachelor of Arts, at the Connecticut College in 1979. And then she went to Kyoto. That was one year later, in 1980. And there um, she studied different printmaking techniques with Japanese artists, Japanese teachers. The first one was Yoshiko Fukada, where she studied etching. Afterwards, she joined the, the school of the famous Shinhanga artist Toshi Yoshida. Toshi Yoshida had established a school somewhere in the mountains in northern Japan and he had not only students uh, from Japan but also uh, international students, many from the US. Uh, Schwaberov, for instance, um, or Carol Jessen, they were also at the same time uh, starting with Toshi Yoshida, when Sara Breyer learned from Toshi Yoshida how to make woodblock prints in the traditional Japanese way. Afterwards, she visited uh, a Japanese paper making village. The name of this village is Imadate. You must know um, handmade Japanese paper that is the best paper in the world. It has the general term washi, washi paper. Yeah. Um, go to YouTube, uh, there you can watch um, videos and see how this paper is still made by hand today. It's the same paper that was used for the prints of Hiroshige, Kunisara, Utamaro, and so white and so on. Well, and when she saw that, she was inspired to produce her own large-scaled um, so-called port paper works, yeah? I told you before I'm not a national English speaker, so I don't want to go into any details, but she has a website, Sarah Breyer, and there you can read, uh, I think, a little bit more in detail um, about this paper and the specific technique of Sarah Breyer. Anyway, today she is best known um, for these large-scale paper um, works. And as I already mentioned, very diverse in style, very diverse um, in, in, in technique. When you look at the overall artworks um, produced um, during her life. Um, Sarah Brain is famous today, very renowned, very established international artist. Um, I checked the internet a little bit for you and just want to mention a few galleries who represent um, Sara Breyer. Orton Hilno is not among them. Uh, I have to say that clearly. Okay, Wern um, collection in Cleveland, Ohio. Rand Brown um, collection in California. Tallman collection in Tokyo, Japan. Ronin Gallery in New York. Atsuma Gallery in Seattle and the state of Washington. Um, and there may be a few more. Please don't bash me. Yeah? This is not a meticulously prepared video, not a dissertation. I just want to make short videos to promote Japanese prints and of course to promote my own sales of the Ortolina Company. Well, um, we do not represent Sara Braille, no, but every now and then we have artworks um, by Sara Braille, not too often. If you're interested, we have a ah, wonderful feature for registered users on our website. It's called Artist Alert. Okay, just join it. And um, for Sara Braille, for instance, and whenever we have an artwork in one of our weekly new auction catalogs, online catalogs, our system will automatically alert you, send you an email, hey, we got a wonderful artwork by Sara Breyer. And something else, um, we do not sell prints that we own. We do not buy prints, yeah? Uh, we are online, a virtual auction house, but in that way, we work like an old conventional brick and mortar art, uh, auction house. 
Everything that we offer comes from consignments, consigned by collectors or by dealers or sometimes also by contemporary artists. But for Sara Breyer, I already mentioned it. Um, no, not. Um, whenever we have something by Sara Breyer, it may, for instance, come from a collection. And if you have, if you have a Japanese print collection, want to sell it, don't forget about Ortolino.com. Well, enough for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for our next video. Goodbye, and keep safe.